Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is today's message. This is a timeless message as and when you see it, that is when you are meant to see it. However, it is a general message so it may not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, then please feel free to move forward respectfully to the next reader. For those that are wanting to know the date, this is the message for the 22nd of October. I know a lot of you like to follow me in order of date so that you make sure that you see all the messages that I receive, um, that I receive and send out to you so if you are looking to book a private reading all the details is in the description box below if you are wanting to know anything about me about the channel etc it's in that description box below so please feel free to check it out going to be pulling one card as a piece of information today i have been drawn to my dreams of gaia tarot deck so a nice, meaty, meaningful um, message today. I always find these are really pretty spot on um, with what is going on in the collective and in personal readings too. So let's call on the angels, guys, keep the light. Please guide me at this time. Which one message above all messages is in the highest good for us to receive today? Which one message above all messages is in the highest good for all to receive on the 23rd of October? Let's have a look, shall we? One message. Highest good of all. 23rd of October. I didn't actually see that come out. I was told to open my eyes and there it was on the table. So we have... Ten of air. Look at that beautiful. Lots of pastel colours. And there's quite a lot of um, butterflies on there. So it's quite a transformative energy I'm feeling. As I've said, these messages uh, are not in line with traditional tarot. So in traditional tarot, this would be the ten of swords. But this, um, the messages from this book doesn't always tie in with the messages from traditional tarot so i like to read it from directly from the book so you get the full meaning so i'll hold it there for you as i read from the book we have 10 of air the key words are individuation self-actualization liberation altered perception new paradigms great mystery paradox and potential the process of individuation leads to becoming one's self to stepping away from the external forces that we believe define us to becoming an independent being who recognizes and embraces their own uniqueness and individuality it is about removing the mask we present to the public so that we are liked and respected and accepted the fear we wear so we fit in and sorry, the face we wear so we fit in and belong. No longer are our public face and private life very different. We present our face to the world and if it is not light, then so be it. If it makes us a black sheep in a flock of white sheep, then so be it. We would rather be honest and accepted by the few than to be what family and society expect. Individuation is being who you are meant to be, as opposed to being the person society tells us we should be. It is breaking free from caring about what people think of us, because we love who we are and what we do with our life. We are free, liberated, because we are not bound by others' opinions of us or our actions, the constraints of society or the impediments of our past. It is, sorry, it is integrating conscious and unconscious, soul and shadow, the masculine and the feminine, and creating a whole where the self resides at the centre. No, sorry, no longer does duality separate and divide. All is in harmony and working in unison. You are you, whole complete and ever evolving and that evolution is not a linear process it is a circumlatory sorry it is a circum 
epilatory process of viewing the self and seeing it from multiple perspectives and accepting and integrating all of the facets and aspects of the world. No aspect is ugly or beautiful, nor good or bad, none better or worse. Each has its place and purpose as part of a beautiful whole. To individuate is to understand paradox and to accept that you are one. You are human. To be a whole and complete human is to be paradoxical. Paradoxical. To, in, to individuate is to see and know your potential and to step forward into the unknown and meet it. You are willing to step away from all that you were so that you may become all that you choose to be. In this process, your perception is altered forever. You are forever transformed. No more are you willing to embrace old paradigms that limit and restrict, that espouse a belief that says you should not or cannot. You move forward into the great mystery with confidence, knowing that even when life offers conflict and chaos, when we remain at the centre, we have peace. When the tent of air appears in your reading, it represents a time in our life after we have chosen to step free of the mask and wear only one face in private and public. No longer do we hide our thoughts, beliefs or feelings in order to be accepted, liked or respected. We have turned our back on expectation, on convention, on, medio on mediocrity, on normalcy, to embrace and accept who we are and stand tall and proud. It is time to separate yourself from the herd and to walk your own path. Step through the doorway and begin a life where new paradigms replace the old and you are free to be the best you that you can be instead of the you society tells you that you must be. So, wow, that is a hugely empowering card, isn't it? And um, this is about really being your true authentic self and not being afraid of it to shine to let it out to um be be one person be that behind closed doors or out in public you are really embracing it this is about um walking forward and being you without that fear of ridicule without that fear of being unaccepted etc this is about you not caring this is a um it's not about you not caring caring it's about you just not not being willing anymore to hide um to really embrace who you are the love the peace the harmony that you want in your life accepting it and knowing that that is the way forward so we do have the potential blockage which is the reverse card i will read this is because it gives you tips on what you need to do to get into alignment with the actual card so we have the Ten of Air reversed represents one who allows others' thoughts and opinions to define and shape them. Instead of moving forward and becoming an independent being, they have allowed others to determine their path and shape their reality. They have become afraid to think or speak for themselves and instead allow others to dominate. They do so because they are afraid of the great unknown and of what life will bring if they choose to defy convention and break from tradition and stand alone. The ten of air reverse signifies a need for this issue to be addressed. It's time for you to grow and leave home and step through the door into the great unknown. It's time to think for yourself, speak for yourself and determine your own direction. The future longs to greet you, but it cannot if your present is being determined by everyone else but you. So I'm very much getting feeling at this time. Um, it's like that fork in the road. Are you going to be your true self? Are you going to go off in the direction that you know is right for you? Are you going to do what um, makes you happy? What is for the highest good of yourself, highest good of everyone around you? Or are you going to continue along that path where you are being dictated to, where you're being told you've got to do this, you've got to do that? Um, that's not acceptable. Um, no. Um, Girls can't do this. Boys can't do that sort of thing. Um, this is for you to decide where you're going to go. As I said, it's a very much a power, um, an empowerment card. It is about you owning yourself, 
owning your actions, owning your beliefs, owning um, all your integrity and your truths and just going with it, just being yourself without having that fear of um, being held back, being stopped, um, not caring what others think of you, just that real deep need to just truly be yourself and embrace who you are at this time. So that is your message. I hope it's helped you. I hope it has given you some insight. Um, if it has, please remember that thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button if you haven't previously done so. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.